Hello everybody and welcome to Fallout 4 Sweetest Vault Ever. We're going to get some preliminary things done here. We're going to check out all of this. Yeah. So, right now we're running a little commercial. Because that's what Twitch does now. And as soon as that gets rolling, we'll get rolling too. God, these advertisements are long. Uncharted, a lost legacy. Neat. Okay, commercial's over. We're all looking at the same thing right now, which is a bulkhead wall in Fallout 4. Vault 88, sweetest vault ever. So, yeah, now I'm going to get some echo and some strangeness here. So, I'm going to turn that crap down. Okay, and we're going to preface this by saying this is a vault in Vault 88, Fallout 4, with mods. Can you say that with me, folks? With mods. Okay. Yeah, I've used a lot of mods. You'll see that as we get rolling here. But I went for an immersive vault um, with eh, very livable stuff. It was, it was This is like the vault that was created to represent how life was before all the crap hit the ground. So as you can see, we're in vault. We're in the Overseer Residential. Um, what I would like to also say is that this is level 22 yes it's a 22 story vault folks we are at the very tippy top of that big chamber when you first come out into that big empty chamber and all that crap so this is my private little bedroom uh, well okay it's not little it's flipping huge we've got beautiful artwork on the walls Great lighting. As you can hear, Ada's running around in the background. So, beautiful artwork. Now, you're going to be able to tell, I do this, I'm doing this throughout the Commonwealth, but you'll tell that we are very Celtic prideful in my Commonwealth. That is... One of the toughest pieces of battle armor you can get. Um, can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I love that power armor. And as you can see, this is the bedroom. This is also level 22. There's 22 stories from ground floor in the main chamber. I've thrown some Skyrim stuff. I love this. My Nordic power armor, the TES. 51F. So I guess I could go tell you what that other power armor is by getting right up on it. I love using these displays. Power armor displays. Um, I do have all the uh, expand, or downloadable content. The DLCs, as you guys like to say. Ah! It's very glitchy, by the way. So I have the Nuka-Cola squirt gun. So, yeah. That's neat. And Ada's obviously running around downstairs. Like I said, this is the bedroom of my two-story penthouse. The Gypsy Mark F 5. Mark 6. Sorry, I have bad eyes too. So, um, Anyway. As you can see, as you just saw, some of that light glitch right there. Very glitchy. This is out the bedroom window. I am using Overseer interiors for my bedroom. Kind of give you an idea. That's my main living room, by the way. Or should I say, my formal gathering hall. We'll get to that in a second, or in a little bit. And what I went by with immersive, you know, pretty standard stuff here. Nothing extraordinary. 
I have my own private bath. I like ex I like luxury. We have a shower. I like crapping in private. So yeah. So there. We went with a certain mod here that it's uh Good job, Ada. Good job. Um, I went with an immersive kind of kitchen setup. It's called, um, I don't know, it's some kind of kitchen mod, which is awesome. Modular kitchen. It does, mod yeah, it's a modular kitchen mod, which was really awesome. I decided to use the kitchen mods for my bathrooms because, watch this. Yeah, look at this. Drink. Yes, water, folks. And what's really cool about these things is that they supply. They give you. They give your um, settlement water. It produces water. Medicine cabinets, soap, towels, all that neat stuff. Lockers or whatever. Very opulent. Oh. Hi, Ada. It's nice to see you caught up. This is my closet. Yes, my, my, my room, my private quarters, I have a closet. Now, I said I went immersive. Look at all this stuff. I, I just piled a bunch of stuff in here. Gun racks, clothing racks, immersive shelves, fixed drawer cabinets. You know, you've seen these before, but they're missing the doors. The drawers are all messed up. Think, voila! You can add drawers. This is from the DIY, uh, DIY shelf, whatever. Same with that. So it allows you to put stuff on shelves. See? Oops. No, just yeah. There we go. Open. So yeah, look at that. These are items you can, act, it will, they snap into place. I got books, hats, gun displays. Okay, you saw that glitch. Look at these shelves. Is this immersiveness or what? Look at that. So, yeah. Oh. I should probably take the flashlight off. But yeah, look at this. Towels with fancy hairbrushes, toothpaste, toothbrushes, clean towels, neatly folded shirts, hats, the whole nine. Oh, and a hat rack with hats on it, which, as you can see. Now, there was one problem. This vault glitch is real bad because I guess I got it overloaded with stuff, and I'm still not done. Okay, so that's my bedroom. We're still at level 22. Oh, and because I have it, I don't know if anybody else playing Fallout 4 on Xbox One has discovered, but with too many mods or certain mods or whatever, I get bad video glitch. And the game crashes a lot. I mean, a lot. You know, we, we believe in cleanliness here at Vault 88. So, I have a laundry room. Yeah, look at this. Washer, dryer, storage lockers, clean clothes, towels, cleansers, mop buckets. Look at that stuff. I mean, you don't get no more immersive than this. I know. Okay, thanks, Ada, but I'm in the middle of giving a tour, okay? Can you go bug me later? Jeez. You give these robots personalities, and look what happens. But, yeah. Look at this. All right. Excuse me, Ada. Got to get out. Thank you. 
come down the hallway. And this is just a storage closet. Okay, just a standard old storage closet. Okay, not that standard. I'm lying. Nothing standard about this storage closet. Look at this stuff. I kept the subdued lighting just because, you know, it's a closet. It's supposed to be dank and whatever. We got stuff. You know, we store stuff here. You like ammunition? Yeah, we keep that stuff. Spare books. Let's throw some light on this. Yeah, see? Meds. It's liquor. Folders, files, everything. Alright. So, it's just a boring old closet. Nothing spectacular. Excuse me, Ada. Coming out. Up here on this level, level 22, again. Yeah, just so people understand, there's 22 stories in this daggum thing. It's a guest bedroom. Okay? We've got seating over here and take a good look at the main floor of the penthouse suite. I call it the penthouse suite. As you can see, yeah, we're Irish. True and true. We'll get down to that part later. You know, nice immersiveness here. I kept this room pretty plain. Lots of open space. With its own private ensuite. Yeah, I'm gonna use fancy words like ensuite. Yeah, look at that. See, there's that video glitch again right there. Depends on where you stand. See, it's it, it's it's kind of weird. But I've learned to accept it, and I've learned to work with it. So, could you live here? That's how I would. That's what was my whole concept of building it. Could I personally live here? I'm saying, heck yeah. Somebody already knocked over my lamp. Vim soda posters with the lights. Each room kind of has its own little theme. All right. So we've done that. And so far the game's being pretty decent. It's not crashing on me yet. Alright, we are going to go downstairs. To the main floor of the penthouse. This would technically be floor 21. Installed water fountains at various entry points of the floor you would gain access to this level via elevator and since it's only each elevator only goes six stories this vault has four sets of elevators you know you're stuck underground in a vault you gotta make people think they can look outside and see a beautiful landscape so that's why we did that. Come down the hall. Now, if I take you this way, you will go into my personal dining chamber. Well, not so personal. Actually, that's the formal dining chamber. Here, you run into security. This is the security level, or the security room, and waiting room to come see me in my living room. We've immaculately decorated it with hunting trophies. Um, this is one of my guards. Yes. Yes. Yeah. How are things? We good? Let's trade. Let's trade. Go ahead. Uh, no, you see, you don't have nothing. You're good. So he has a phone, so he can call me direct. Get other security people. So, collect your phones when you're in the Commonwealth. It gives that sense of, I've got my crap together. Lots of hunting in the Commonwealth.
And it makes for a pretty intimidating room. It says, oh crap, this guy's got his you-know-what together. Now we enter the main hall of my penthouse. And we have selected seating areas with each seating area having a theme. Ah, oh, you're so sweet. Shut up, I'm busy, okay? We believe in the finest of fineries here at Vault 88, especially up here in my own personal chambers. Yeah, look at it. See? So, after seeing certain things, would you live here? Got a TV sitting area. Yeah, see those lamps? They, they glitch. Then you come back around a certain way, boom, there they are. A chessboard. The finest paintings in the Commonwealth. We have decided to do a circular uh, meeting area where you can socialize. Have a few Gwyneth Ales. See? My personal guard, the bar area where you can knock back a few, play a nice game of pool. Yeah, see, there's that glitch again. Depending on where you stand and how you look, I said, depending on where you stand and where you look. Jeez. And this is my favorite seat in the house. This is where people can come get an audience with me. Yes, this is what I look like. I am the Dark Lord. Oops, you know how that works. So, this is my throne room. This is where I rule the Commonwealth. I am not Luke's father. I am the kingpin of the Commonwealth. Now, as you noticed, I have... One, two, three, four doors off of the common, off of my main chamber. So when I need to do business of the Commonwealth, rule the empire, if you will, <laughs> we do it from here. I see. I told you I had a phone. It's linked into the security desk up front. I keep track of all my people. And whether you watch this or don't, the comments about the video glitch, I, there's nothing I can do about it. Xbox can't handle all the stuff that I've thrown in here. See, there's some more of that DIY shelving stuff. See, this is what you can do with the DIY shelving. It's a bot mod on Xbox. You know, cigars, you gotta have cigars. This is my personal office.
and whatever secretary I have. So I have a secretary or a personal assistant. It's usually Ada. Ada's my personal assistant usually. See? See? Personal assistant, bodyguard. She's awesome. I recommend you get yourself one. Now, you're on here. You need to take a pee. You got company. You know. Like I said, you got company over. Full facilities. Taking care of business. I go with this whole sink kind of setup for the bathrooms. Even though they're supposed to be for the kitchens, but look, they work out so well. You get that counter space so you can put your toothpaste, toothbrush, you know, stuff like that. Plenty of towels for drying. Now across the way. See, the, and I give that imperial feel, like you're in the, you're in a house of somebody who knew, who's got his crap together. I gave up on Sean. He's a synth. He's not even real. Because the Sean that I knew is an old man running everything underground. Well, you know what, Sean? I'm daddy, and I'm running things on above the ground. But I'm daddy, and I'm running things above the ground. Jeez. You know, for a security guard, you're deaf. Welcome to the main dining hall. Like I said, I've tried to be immersive, yet then elegant. So, not too much clutter. I went for opulence. Grandiose. Dining sets for an entire party. Because I am the overseer of this vault. Because, you know, that's what that lady said when I did all that crap. Said I was the overseer, so I'm the overseer. Well, I'm a gracious and kind overseer. I believe in giving everybody top notch quality stuff. Okay. Yeah, this leads to back out this way. So, just to uh, fix that curiosity. Alright. Now, if you follow me through this door, this will lead us to the kitchen. Now, that's for formal dining parties, okay? I It's... it's it's like Batman. I rarely ever eat in there. This is where I hang out. Because, I mean, after all, it's usually just me. And a couple of friends. We cook up good food here. Oh, and this is part of that kitchen kit. The, uh... Modular kitchen stuff. <laughs> It allows you to do all these kind of things. You can add dirty dishes. You can add clean dishes. You've got a sink. You can add a sink with dirty dishes in it. I'm thinking it's a dishwasher, but I'm not sure. You got cabinets, which allow you to put things like that in it, which is like fancy tea sets. So you can get real creative on your kitchens. And they come in multiple color schemes. See, I created a dishwashing station. Basically a table with dirty dishes. Which can be placed at pretty much everything. Now these are individual items which are hand placed. I had to hand place those. Now here's some more of that modular kitchen. The stoves. Comes with, the cabinets come with matching stoves and it allows you to do put these pots in place and they're off to crafting stations so 
Mmm, looks like we got a rad roast in the oven. I love it. And some Talberry pie. Looks like we got... Looks like we got some Merlac bacon and eggs. Some mashed potato. Merlac stew. We got some meat, some sugar. The refrigerators act as storage areas, as well as most of the cabinets. And then here's part of that DIY shelving system, which allow you to put, you know, just get that immersiveness in there. Uh, the mop buckets and stuff like that are part of the uh, kitchen modular. The modular kitchen stuff. You know, what kitchen's not complete without an espresso machine? You got to have one. It's just part of the deal. I don't care who you are. You know, got to have it. See, there's that glitch. If you stand a certain way, see, voila, it's faucets. And, oh, now they're still there. Oh, there they go. Bye-bye. And they're back. They're, oh, disappearing faucets, folks. Huh? <laughs> I didn't say nothing. Do your job. Stand there and guard. All right. Now, if you come up the back way of, vault, of, of this way, there's not security here because if you're coming this way, I expect you anyway, and you've got clearance. It's just a little sitting waiting room area. Coming off the main thing. Lots of decoration. Take it in. Exactly. You know, they give you plants, but it's the same freaking four plants through the whole thing. So, once in a while, I would throw in some of these. Not to mention. Kind of gets, uh, they're kind of, I think they're dying. So, that's a little waiting room direct access from the elevator so when you come down from the lower levels up to the penthouse this is the room you will see you will walk right in and again yes Irish flags will be everywhere in my vault and my Commonwealth I am the kingpin of the Commonwealth welcome to my world see chandeliers hanging from the ceiling that crap was not easy by the way it took a little ingenious work, but I got it. Eat your heart out, Donald Trump. I'll make Trump Towers look sick. This here is the main security and overall monitoring stations for the entire vault. We carry a complete and entire database, files and dossiers on everyone. I'm telling you folks, there's nothing in the Commonwealth that doesn't go on that I don't know about. The Minutemen ain't got nothing on me. The Brotherhood of Steel, pff, amateurs. The Raiders, all different groups of them, nothing. Because, I mean, to be honest... When you're messing around with firepower like this, or you're messing around with firepower like this, where, where is it? Of course, you know, because I, I am dressed like Darth Vader. Of course I've got one of those. Okay, so. I might build a shooting range. That might come later. I do have that one empty piece of the vault that there's nothing built because you can't connect tunnels to it. That one side room. I might actually build something there. And, yeah, like I said, I have water fountains. So, you know. 
Now, not only do I have elevator access, but I have direct stair access. Okay? So you are officially at level 22. I'm going to walk down the stairs. And as you can see, when you walk up the stairs, it tells you, Overseer Residential. The this is where I live. No, I didn't forget the elevators. That's my, that's my boy. He's a. Uh, see, elevators work. Ta-da! But we'll walk it down. Okay, that was levels 20, 20, 21 and twenty-two. Now we're going to come down to level 20. 19. Nope, this would be level 20. And this is where I'm going to say goodbye, folks. So, adios. Oh, as soon as I learn how to pause all this stuff. <laughs> We're still paused.